G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how to do CTR manipulation. Now, what is CTR manipulation? Essentially, CTR or click-through rate manipulation is when you manipulate the click-through to help you rank up organically in the SERP. Now, Google hasn't come out and stated that it really is impactful like Bing. So they didn't exactly say that, hey, if you get more clicks on this listing, we're going to bump it up higher but everyone knows that it's impactful. So I personally think just as impactful as backlinks and everything else. But for this stuff to work, I believe you already need to be in on page one or two. If you're on page three for something, don't try it. It will actually probably do more harm than good. So I'm going to show you what you would need to do as an example. If you're, let's just say you're an electrical business. So you're an electrician in Fort Lauderdale. Let's say you're in position 11. Let's say, actually, let's go for this guy right here in position six. So you're a Sparky, you're sitting in position six. What do you do with click-through rate? You've done all your content, everything else is on point. How do you start to move up the ladder? Well, this is essentially what you need to do. So first things first, you wanna throw this keyword into SEMrush. You wanna ascertain how many searches there are a month. So as you can see, there's 390 searches according to SEMrush a month. What I would suggest that you do is you grab other tools. So like your Ahrefs, even the Google tools, so Google Ads Planner, you can grab that and throw it into that as well and see what it is. Try and get a bit of a consensus because if you get drastically varied results, then what do you go for? Something else you can utilize is Google Search Console. So you'll look at your Google Search Console, look specifically for the target keyword, okay? So the target keyword that you want to understand, look at the position you've been sitting at and then see the percentage of clicks that you're getting as well. So you can start to look at the impression. So as an example, uh, sorry, it should be impression. So if you looked in your Google search console, you went one month, you filtered it out by one month, you looked at the keyword electrician Fort Lauderdale and then you would see impressions. So maybe it'll say 400 impressions. Well, you know this number's pretty accurate. So what do you do from there? How do you do the click-through rate manipulation? Well, this is how you do CTR manipulation. So what you would want to do, 390. Now, this is a slide from a presentation that I actually gave to an organization. So this is why you need SEO. This is just a general slide explaining why. So as you can see, 390 searches. Hmm. Now, how do you know how many clicks you should send through if you use a CTR bot, if you use some of the tools that I'll show you later. How do you know what the percentage is that you should send? Well, a general rule of thumb is these percentages here. These are the commonly referred to numbers. So as you can see, if you're in position 10 and there's 390 searches a month for that keyword, you should be getting around about seven clicks. Now it's important to remember that you should be getting seven clicks, right, organically already. So you don't then want to add seven on top. But if you find that you're in position 10 and you're only getting, let's say, four, well then juice it up by four more. So you're just getting a couple more. Never ever run into CTR stuff, uh, guns blazing. In all honesty, if you do that, you're going to wreck your campaign. So like our guy, he was in position six, right? Of that 390, we don't want to send 390 clicks to that one listing. You know, like it's going to tank you. Trust me, it's going to tank you. So would you send 15? Well, you'd want to make sure that you should already be getting 15. But what I would do is juice it up a little bit. So I'd look at a position four and five and go, how many clicks are they getting? So let me come back to that slide. So how many clicks are they actually getting? Well, position four and five, they get 31, they get 23. So realistically, to go up two positions, I need to double my click-through rate. What would I do? Well, if I was doing the CTR for this keyword, what I would be doing is I'd be going up probably an additional 10. So I would start with that electrician. I'd be setting my click-through rate bot for 25 clicks a month. So almost a click every day, okay? That's what I would be doing. Now, you want to see slow progression. This is not something that you rush into. If you rush into it, you can be completely wiped out. Trust me. Trust me, it is not a good thing to do. I've tested it on my own stuff. 
And uh, yeah, I've had people test it on me as well and my comp and my clients. And when we've started to rank them, well, then people send in through uh, click through rate to spam their listing. So you don't want to tank it. And this stuff, it takes time and money to, to make it happen. So progress it. Okay, so first month I would focus on trying to jump up two positions, so trying to get into position four, and then the second month I'd try and aim for position two, position one. Take time with this and use a lot of caution. Don't go crazy with it. Less is more here. Now, what tools do you use? The best tools for CTR manipulation? Currently, I am testing out SERP Empire. Uh, so appears I utilize their free trial. It appeared to go really well on one of the accounting websites I have. Uh, did actually exceptionally well. So I'm pretty happy with it. Now, I haven't used it for a long time, but so far it is. There'll be a link to that down below as well. So if you do get it, make sure you hit that link. That does help out. SERP clicks is one that I did use for a long time. A long time I used SERP clicks, but look at the price. It's insanely expensive. So that's about 660 clicks, but that's not if you decide to pick the country. The reason I like these guys is because they are relatively cheaper. I think it's like 99 bucks, or $59 for a thousand clicks. And you can set the geo location as well. But with these guys, you've got to pay that much for not even that many clicks. So once you start setting the geo locations with SERP clicks, it becomes insanely expensive. But these guys do work, okay? I, I personally have used these guys for at least six months, at least, and they do work. They do help move you up a bit. But I'm willing to give these guys a try because they're a hell of a lot cheaper. Now, you can use things like CTR Booster and all of that, but I've never had success with CTR Booster. I do need to try the awesome traffic bot, give that a crack. But again, I have not tried that yet. So CTR Booster, for me, um, I actually found it did more harm than good. Granted, this was over a year ago as well. Perhaps it's changed. But for me, I, I've i tried SERP clicks. They were good. I got results, but insanely expensive. So as long as you can pass that on to a client, but at the same time, if you can get the same results with SERP Empire for significantly less of the price and you get a bag that money, so it's a lot better of an option. So I will keep you up to date on my testing of SERP Empire. So far, been happy with their results. See what happens. But now I hope you understand how to do CTR manipulation. If I've answered that question, make sure you hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you around. Put your questions below and the link to SERP Empire will be down below. Cheers, guys.